Does anybody remember that Ron and his YouTuber friends encounter of the alternate ending of Madagascar and Chicken Ron, along with the leader versions of Sitsurai from Flesh Away was scary enough? Gets again. I just discovered that I found the scene of my oldest childhood movie from 2001. I have a nightmare for about six days and it doesn't leave me alone. Hi, I'm Brian Burials, Master Man, the mascot of Cartoon Comedy Channel. Let me tell you I discovered this scene from the movie. It was the afternoon on Halloween on daylight. My buddy Steven was outside giving some trick or treaties to the children while I'm still at home watching some Halloween movies on streaming stuff. Just then, when my phone got buzzed, I got a Google email notification. So I opened up a notification and I got a letter from DreamWorks. I was very surprised that DreamWorks emailed me from the first time. The email said this, Dear biggest DreamWorks fan from America, we would like to present you the oldest 2001 film, Shrek. We were originally the added the original ending of the film. Unfortunately, our DreamWorks animator, James Winterstone, was fired for adding in a terrible scene from the movie, so we had to change it to make the less disturbing and more kid-friendly. After you watch this, please do not show to the public. Kind regards, the DreamWorks team. Wow. I was very surprised that DreamWorks emailed me for the first time, just like Ron got email from Pixar and DreamWorks that he discovered encounter a terrible scene from the movie. Anyways, I pressed the download link file and it says Shrek alternate ending. I downloaded the file and began to watch the video, so I paused the movie on streaming so I could watch the video on my phone. The black screen started for about 3 seconds until the warning sign says Warning! This Shrek alternate ending you are about to see are not made for suitable for children and sympathy issues. Please watch this at your own risk. View of destruction is advised. I was surprised to shock to know what's gonna happen. Anyways, the scene started when Shrek busted open, interrupting wedding scene when Fiona and Laura Falco was about to kiss until everybody the entire Laura Farquhar's palace along with Felonius, Fiona, Laura Farquhar and the churchman was very shocked and surprised knowing that Shrek came inside the building. The scene is kind of normal for about a few minutes until Princess Fiona walked back away in front of the window and noticed that she began to transform himself into a, a ogre. Everybody was very shocked to know that Princess Fiona is an ogre this whole time. Shrek was surprised. Until Laura Farquhar calls the guards and trying to arrest Shrek while Princess Fiona was got grabbed by the guards. The scene is kind of normal until the dragon had arrived. Instead of eating him and swallowing like in the final film, the scene gets very darker and darker until the dragon begins to roar very louder as to like a THX logo deep no sound. Lord Farquaad begins screaming as if John Livgrow was screaming in fear. The dragon looks very rage and de terrifying looks and distorted. Her eyes was hollow black with red pupils while her mouth got blood everywhere with her teeth. Until then, she began to eat Lord Farquaad alive, chewing into her pieces. Everybody was very shocked seeing that Lord Farquhar got eaten by a terrifying breathing dragon but distorted and evil version of her. Donkey was very furious. After that, the dragon ate Lord Farquhar and swallowed in the hole. Baby, why would you do that to Lord Farquhar? You're supposed to swallow it, not eat him. How dare you? I thought you are my future wife. Donkey was very furious and scared knowing that the dragon looks very hungry, staring at Donkey along with everybody inside the church, along with Felonius, Church Guy, Fiona and Shrek. However, Donkey fell down to the ground and the dragon was about to eat Donkey. Baby, please don't eat me! I'm your future husband! No! 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 After Donkey said his final words, the dragon eat Donkey alive. 
He screamed in sound real as if Eddie Murphy was screaming in pain. He continued screaming until he spit it out into a pieces with blood everywhere on the floor. His eyes was missing, his mouth was broken jaw, and his body got eaten with those skeleton outside and, their, and his feet is broken along with the tail as well. He turned, she turned around and staring at everybody, knowing that the dragon is getting evil and distorted with a roar sound, like a THX deep note sound. Everybody is leaving the church along with Shrek, Fiona, Felonius, and the church guy. The entire building was about destroyed until the roofs got crushed by Fiona, Felonius, and the churchman, except Shrek. Everybody was leaving outside the entire Lord Farquhar's palace. The dragon destroyed the church and she began to destroy the entire palace of Lord Farquhar's, including the houses, the stores, the castles, and everything around the entire palace everywhere. This scene is getting terrified for about one minute until Shrek was surrounded by fire. He had decided to leave the, the place. He covered his nose to find a way to get out of this place. Until the entire rocks got blocked to the door, along with the wooden stuff as well. Shrek was very furious and he had nowhere to be to leave. And now he has nowhere to go. He's in dead end. Until the dragon walked past by in front of the Shrek. She looks very rage and super super angry with her hollow back her blood all over her face. Please, no, don't kill me. I'm just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. No, no, no! Shrek was very scared and noticed that he had nothing to do about it but being prayed. He prayed and prayed knowing that his life is about to end. After his final sentence, the dragon began to eat Shrek as the scene screen cut to black. Shrek began screaming in agony as if Mike Myers was screaming in agony. Also his scream was similar to one of the Austin Powers films. After about 10 seconds, the scene cut to the entire Lord Farquhar's castle was burned down and Shrek's corpse can't be seen to the ground. His whole body got blood everywhere. His eyes was missing, his mouth was agape, and his arms and legs was missing, and a whole body got eaten with their skeleton bone outside. The dragon rubbed her tummy full, knowing that she has full tummy aid. She licked it with her tongue on her mouth and began to fly away into the beautiful sky, until the entire Lord Farquhar's palace is destroyed into a pieces with black brown and they are torn down. Then a scene cut to black was says, the end. And then the video just ended. I was shocked to know that they made it the alternate ending of Shrek. In fact, it's similar to the Madagascar alternate ending that Rotten encountered. But I had to delete the file so I won't show any into the public places including the YouTuber friends. After that, I just forget about all the scenes so I continue watching the streaming on Halloween movies. After the older trick-or-treating and Halloween parties, I decided to go to bed at midnight so I could get some sleep. I was having a nightmare that a dragon came to my house and tried to, to eat me. Then I was running outside from the window and running away from the fire-breathing dragon until I got dead end and she was about to eat me alive until I woke up with the eyes wide open cartoony with a screamy shock face and I was having a nightmare for about six days. Obviously, this could be a James Winterstone stupid trick. He is the worst DreamWorks animator like other animators out there, like Adam Kenneton, Henry Bowers, Vic Chris, Bill Chuckins, Patrick Hausler, Peter Gordon, and, and even Clenny Brown. But remember guys, if you find any of those D's deleted versions or alternate ending of DreamWorks movies that are made by James Winterstones, please don't watch it and stay away from his stupid tricks. I hope James Winterstone needs to go to jail for good. Literally.